Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is your third fan-requested Friday matchup of the week. Franco, 1976 versus 1981. This is obviously a request for Franco Colombo and his two winning versions, his Olympia winning versions, that is. 1976, I have to be honest, the footage of this version, this rendition, pretty much impossible to get all of the poses in good, clear shots. The front relaxed, this one, I'll be honest, it's one of the better shots. So if you're going to be upset about that, I guess it's probably not the video for you, but hey, if you're into just fun comparisons to see what maybe was the better version, then I guess this is the one for you. Looks like he's probably in better condition in 1981. Could that be possible? Lags, you're definitely going to see a bigger, better set. In the earlier years, the 1976, he broke his leg in a World's Strongest Man competition. 1977, I believe it was. Anyway... On with the poses and the front double by. This is a write-off, guys. It's not a comparison at all. The pitcher of 1976. Here's another one. And you'd be foolhardy to think that you could see any type of conditioning. Anything like that. He probably is a little bit bigger in the lats. But that's just a, a, a guess. Yeah, a guesstimate. So, but that's the front double by. I figured I would show you what I have. Here's the front lat spread and sigh of relief. Two pretty good pitchers. You can pretty much see his lag, his left lag. It must be his left lag. It looks very small, 1981. Both of them look pretty thick. Both of them look a little bit thicker. Even his right lag looks a little bit thicker, 1971. So he is a, a bigger, thicker lad. Probably weighs a couple more pounds. Hard to say. The lats both filled out. Supremely, I mean, this guy was a pretty uh, dangerous bodybuilder in a pose like this. Gyno, Gyno, he had a little bit in 1976, not nearly as much in 1981. You can definitely see the, the bulge a little bit more. With all due respect, guys, with all due respect, this is my favorite bodybuilder we're talking about, him and Robbie Robinson. Robbie's probably my favorite, but anyway, side chest development. And you will notice, you guys with the, a keen bodybuilding history, skills, things of that nature, you'll see that this is a 1975 Franco Colombo. I figured I would throw it in there just to show. I mean, how much different could it be? I think his pecs were a lot bigger back in the day. And he's showing the non-gyno pec. I didn't see any gyno in 1975 anyway in any of the shots. Even that good clear footage from Pumping Iron. No gyno in sight. Thicker, much thicker earlier on in his career. And I would wager to say, guys, we can probably intelligently say that he was better in 1976. Here is probably the only good, decent, or half halfways decent back shot we're going to see. The back looks like it's maybe better in 1981. The muscle separation, more vascularity. But again, guys, you're going to be foolhardy to think that you could see any type of muscle separation, vascularity. He might be twice as good in 1976. But you really can't gauge. But guys, it's a fan request Friday, and I figured I would do my best anyway to honor the request. So, so far, I guess I'm going to lean towards 1976. Rear double by. Now, if, gosh darn it, if this pitcher wasn't tilted thusly, we could probably have a pretty good comparison here from 1976. I almost think that the conditioning of the lower back, the vascularity, it might be slightly a hair better in 1981. Unbelievable. Here's one other one. I figured, you know, I'll show you what I found, show you what I have. And again, I mean... What can you what can you say? You can't really see much. Like the front double by, pretty much a write off in the rear double by as well. We will finish this quick little matchup. And like I said, guys, I'm not gonna not honor the request. I actually would have been interested in seeing this one. Maybe we'll do a 1975 versus 1981 at some point in time. But other than that. I mean, you can't really gauge much from most of the shots. 
most muscular. Two pretty good shots here, guys. The legs, you can definitely see. And I often say when you're doing a comparison we, with the same dude, different years, you want to know which version's bigger? Which version has a bigger head? 1981's head looks a lot bigger. So his body's smaller. He's probably a few pounds heavier. He's more sturdy, less gyno, more symmetrical, bigger legs. Backs were pretty even, I think. But here is your winner, guys. 1976, his very first Olympia win. The first short man, I believe, to win the uh, Olympia title or in the, the, light, the lightweight class. There he was for sure. I mean, you got Larry Scott, Sergio Oliva, Arnold, gosh darn it, Franco Colombo. There you go. I mean, the shortest man to date when he won the when he won the title for sure. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great weekend.